In 1956, Syracuse University's Jim Brown was perhaps the best running back college football had ever seen, but he was unable to become the first African-American to win the Heisman Trophy. Some said if Brown couldn't do it, it might never happen. One year later, Ernie Davis took the field. How are you, Mr. Dennis? Excellent, Manny. Now, how did you get involved with the film? Well, the, you know, reading the script, that's, uh, I'd never heard of the Ernie Davis, to tell you the truth. And uh, uh, after, you know, it was a story that really needed to be told, I thought. It was a story that transcended sport. I and mean, even if you don't like sports, even if, you know, you're not, don't know a thing about football or care to know, it's a story that, you know, that I think everybody can relate to. And it hits you, it hits you right in the heart and the gut. You know, in a place where you have no words. Swartz Walder, he's one of the best coaches in college ball. What are you smiling at? Right about now, I bet you're wondering what happened to that nice gentleman that begged you to come here, huh? Well, it's about, it's about really about living your life gracefully. And if God gives you, you know, touches you with grace in your life, you to use your life to the full effect. Right. And uh, Ernie Davis embodied that. But the same token, you know, your, your role, Ben Schwartz Walder. Excellent. Thank you. That. <laughs> Thank you. Um, also learned a lot from Ernie Davis and vice versa. Right. Ben was a, a man of his times, and those times were uh, in America that uh, were racism and, and segregation were the rules of the day. And Ben was a man of his times. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he, uh, uh, he was like most people, the status quo. You know, today you'd, be, you'd call him probably a racist, but the <clears throat> majority of Americans were, I think, uh, that way back then, it was just that was the way things were. We're just here to play a great football game and take home a championship. To be honest, Mr. Page, when I'm out on that field, I only think about winning the game. But that doesn't mean I don't know the color of my own skin. But Ernie changed him. Ernie uh, was a, was a, such a graceful person and such an incredible person. He he ch wound up changing Ben. They became almost father and son, really. Did you do any research with the life of Ben? Yeah, I uh, actually uh, Jim Brown, who was you know played yes. for Ben beforehand, yes. and legendary football player and his, himself. He was uh, we'd done any given Sunday together, another football movie, and he was my greatest resource. I talked talked to him for quite a bit about about Ben, his relationship with Ben, and and also Ernie Davis and the times that uh, uh, and, and in America and in Syracuse. That, going back what was going on back then it belongs to you gentlemen don't you let anyone steal history away from you he was a person who transcended football he transcended race he's uh really i think really one of the unsung uh icons of of the civil rights movement right thank you so much thank you, thank you. Thank you.